bottlescene.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of beer from Fantastic Clydewater in Manchester. It's the bottle of their Winter 2015 IPA, 8% ABV. Um, I'll give you the old details on this one. So, bittering hops, it's, the hops are the bits you're interested in, aren't they? Um, bittering hops are Pilgrim Alpha CO2 extract. So, it's using an extract that isn't a dirty thing. A lot of really highly thought of IPAs have used um, hop extract for many, many years. Pliny the Elder been the most notable one, I guess I'd say. Um, then the Aroma Hops are Mosaic, um, Victoria's Secret, Chinook, Centennial Pacific Jade, and Simcoe. The malts are Extra Pale, uh, Marisota, Clear Choice Pale, and the Ale in its American Ale, Pale Ale Yeast. 8% ABV. I have had this a number of times, so I'll let you into a secret whilst I'm opening it and pouring it. Um, I thought I'd reviewed this already. I thought I'd recorded one, but I was taking all my, all my files off. Couldn't find it. But I have had it a number of times already, which should hint at my opinion. <laughs> Obviously, they're double IPA, my beer of the year last year, so let's see what we've got. Yeah, there's a bit of slurry, a bit of, a bit of yeast slurry at the bottom. Beer in the glass. Hey, <coughs> excuse me. I'm very hazy. Pale orange beer, nice, tightly packed white head. Let's give it a swell and a sniff, check out the aroma. Oh yeah, that's stunning. It's, um, for me, pineapple is the most prominent aroma. Grapefruit, definitely. There's kind of a, there's something that reminds me of preserved lemons. Passion fruit, without a doubt. There's a floral edge to it. There, there is, I mean, you are getting this slight kind of dankness of, um, Simcoe and, and Mosaic, but not too much. Really nicely positioned. I said this when I was I did Periscope when I drank this, and um, I know uh, I think it was um, Paul from Cloudwater. Did, uh, spent like a month or something in in California, and he brought back a shed load of IPA, and they all had a big sit down and tasting session. And I'm sure that must have that experience must have um, informed how they went and forward and brewed the double IPA, and the success of brewing that double IPA. Um, is it clearly had a knock-on effect so that smells incredible let's dive in cheers salivating oh man when I first had a bottle of this it was three um, yeah it was three days old maybe two days old actually and this is still tasting absolutely stonking continuing everything I was promised on the aroma grapefruit pineapple there's a hint of, there's a ripeness, maybe that's where the Simcoe and Mosaic are coming in, which reminds me slightly of like a, quite a mature cheddar. No, the hops aren't cheesy, I'm going to point that out because that means it's old, but no, it's just that kind of ripeness I guess. Yeah, there's a rattiness to it from those kind of more dank hops. Finish is really clean. This kind of beer, which I presume because of the, um, they're only using extract for bittering, so they're leaving it, the backloading it massively, so therefore they're packing stupid amounts of flavour hops and aroma hops. And that's exactly what's in this beer. This is, I think, it's a, it's a, the, the double IPA was a real game changer for British IPA. Um, this is continuing that path. Um, for me, if, if other breweries aren't trying the um, the double IPA in this from Cloudwater and not seeing the way, because I think, because this, from what I'm hearing people um, talking about, there was um, IPAs from kind of uh, v Vermont and so on, like Heady Topper and Julius from, uh, and, and, like, and beers from like Trillium and Treehouse and all that business. They're along these lines from what I can imagine. I have not tried any. Um, yes, it's got a bit of old, old school West Coast to it, absolutely, but this is, hints towards progression within definitely in British IPA and there's some fantastic beers out there but this if this became like the template of Cloudwater's IPAs they will be leading the uh, leading the way absolutely <laughs> so yeah that ends my love letter to Cloudwater's IPA at the moment sorry but it's just amazing so that's Cloudwater's IPA 8% ABV, part of their winter 2015 range, absolutely top draw, the game changer. I'm Rob from Hobbsy.com and I'll see you next time. Cheers.